Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to cover how to replace a Tektro brake sensor. Before we get started, let's cover how the brake sensor works. Within the brake lever, you have two important parts. There's a magnet and a sensor. The magnet is attached to the lever so that when you squeeze the lever, it moves closer to the sensor. The sensor is a type of magnet sensor, though I don't know which type. In my attempt to take apart my broken sensor, I destroyed it, so that remains a mystery for now. As you squeeze the lever and the magnet moves close enough to the sensor for it to be detected, the two wires are effectively shorted together, which tells your e-bike controller that you have engaged the brakes and it cuts power to the motor. Before we start with the sensor replacement, you first need to confirm that it's the sensor that's broken. The easiest way to do this is to plug in another brake slash sensor that you know is working. You also have to make sure that the sensor is actually broken and not just misadjusted. To confirm this, take the sensor out of the lever housing and hold a strong magnet close to the sensor, moving it around to see if you can get it to detect the magnet. If it still doesn't detect anything and, you, and you've confirmed a working brake or sensor works, then you've likely got a dead sensor. Now that you've confirmed that, you need to source a replacement. Your first stop should be at the retailer you purchased the bike or brakes from. But if that doesn't work out, you can reach out to Tektro to see if they can offer you any help. All right, on to the sensor replacement. First, unscrew the set screw and pull out the sensor from the brake lever housing. Next, you'll want to unplug the sensor from your harness. If your replacement doesn't have a connector attached already, you'll have to solder one on. I used the connector from my old broken sensor as the replacement. Next, plug the sensor back in and manually push it into the housing while squeezing the brake lever. If it's working, you can return the set screw and adjust that accordingly. To adjust the set screw, pull the brake lever just until the pads begin to grab the rotors. While holding the brake lever in that exact same spot, screw the nut in until the bike detects that the lever is depressed. Test out squeezing and releasing the lever several times to make sure it's working as intended and engaging at the proper time. You're all set. That covers how to replace your Tektro brake sensor.